Welcome. So to find the axis of symmetry in the vertex when given in standard form, I'm going to instead of using a quadratic equation, I'm going to use a function. And I'll explain why in just a second. Now, a quadratic equation and a function, um, you know, the relationship is really going to be the same thing. Our x values, our input values, um, are still going to act the same. And all I'm really changing is what my output value is. And in a quadratic equation, we say the output value is y. In a fu function, my output value is a function of its input value. And that's just a really kind of a difference of how we're going to explain things. However, if I want to find the axis symmetry in vertex, the process is the same. But when finding the vertex, I'm going to use notation that's going to work with my function. So if I want to find the axis of symmetry, now this is very, very helpful because a lot of times when we have a quadratic that's in uh, our standard form, sometimes we have numbers that are not going to be easy to either factor it out or to convert it to vertex form. So to find the axis of symmetry, if you have decimals, fractions, or very large numbers, we can always apply this form, which x equals b, sorry, opposite of b divided by 2a. So we just take the opposite of our b and divide it by 2a, and that's going to be our axis symmetry. And then if I want to find the vertex, what we're going to do is we're still going to find, remember, the vertex has to go through your axis symmetry. So the x value is going to be the same. Then, remember, when we created a table, what we did is we found x values, we plugged them in, and then we found the y value. Well, for a, we're going to do the exact same thing. So we're going to plug this in for our x and then find the y. So I'm going to represent that by using function notation of opposite of b divided by 2a. So remember, when you evaluate for a function, whatever you plug in, in, for, in that parentheses, that's what you plug in for there. So it's really the same thing as just me showing you like in a table, but I wanted to use function notation. You find your x, and then you plug it in to your function to be able to find the output or the y value. So that's how you find the axis symmetry and the vertex in that form. Thanks.